I'll start with a basic template. This stupid thing doesn't stop moving. No, not do that. Alright, so. Choose a normal color. Or any color. Lay black. Go to the selection layer and... Well, first before you do that. Color. Use the bucket item and color in your blackness. Okay, that just sounded funny. Mm. I swear. Okay. These items may pop up. Any will be good. Huh? Okay. You know what? Just use the paintbrush because sometimes these will get stressful. And there. And there. There. Now that you got your color down, you don't have to do the outline if you don't want to. But, well, if you don't have a specific color for the hair, I would suggest adding a color. But if you do have a color, like, say, you added a color in Gotcha Life, then use that color. I use black because, well, it's the most simple color I usually work with. Or any kind of, like, you know, um, pretty colors. For example, lavender. Um, or uh, yellow. You know, any kind of colors like that. Or any pastel colors. Anyway, that's besides the point. Now what you're going to want to do is... Get a color that's slightly lighter. Wait. Make sure your paintbrush is at the maximum. The literal maximum. This is for hair highlights, by the way. I hope I make sh don't worry about coloring in the lines. You really don't have to because when you use the selection layer and you label the layer that you want to use, it will make sure it keeps it inside the lines. That way you don't exactly have to like go through all the hustle and bustle of trying to get in the lines. As you draw these lines, as you draw your hair highlights, you gotta um, ease up slower to the white. For example, this. This may or may not be a bit too light. So, I usually tone down the color by doing some of this. If the color you are using if you think the color you are using is way too light, that's okay. Just color over that color by using a slightly darker color than the color you just you previously used. See how easy that works? Now, move on to the gray. <laughs> okay, that's where I sort of made a mistake, but it's okay. Because you... But sometimes you've got to be extremely careful. You never know when the moment comes where you mess up extremely badly. Now, what I suggest, you don't exactly have to do this. Because like, if you use a bit of a toned down color, you may not have enough um, space to do the white. But what I suggest is using 
not too too light but use sort of like light colors the blonde or light brown or hazel you know any type of those colors or use light gray or even white well actually no not white because if you use white then you can't um do a highlight it's the whole hard truth i'm sorry if anyone who wanted to do to do um highlights on white hair but you cannot do highlights on white hair <laughs> now see how i'm slowly easing up to the white bit by bit i'm near the white I hope this highlight tutorial works out for you guys. No. You want to do a smaller color. If there's barely any space for the white, you want to do, you want to kind of zoom in and you want to use a smaller tip of the brush to make sure the white actually fits in. Now, you want to get the blur tool and you want to just, it doesn't matter what length it is, all you want to do is just smooth that out, just make it all blurry. Doesn't matter what length it is, all you have to do is make it blurry. Then erase these highlights. Just got it right there. And there you go. See how easy that is? That actually looks really good. I hope you guys can see because if you can't, then it's really sad. Sorry, I just got to make sure I'm still recording. Now, what you want to do is you want to. If you forgot to do the the bottom part of the hair, do not panic or like don't exactly be mad because well you can like use the blended color and like slightly color in the tip like. Okay, maybe it won't look that pretty, because see how that looks? But what ma but what really matters is that you get those parts colored in. Unless you don't want to color it in, and you just want to leave it blank, then yeah, that's totally fine. But I suggest coloring it in, because it will make it look more real. Again, I'm not saying you have to do this. It's just my suggestion. I hope I don't sound too rude. Now. Since you got all of that colored in, eh, doesn't really look too good, but I don't care. Now, since you already got um that color in, get your bucket again. But before you um get your bucket, you might want to get your brush, get a roller, add a straight roller, and then tilt it slightly to the side. Now, what you want to do is you might wanna oh no it's gonna keep in mind that this may be sort of hard to like get the hang of but trust me it's pretty pretty simple once you get the hang of it now turn off your ruler and get your bucket Neck and there. please just ignore the lines like on the on the um like the outline of the character because we aren't gonna do that anytime soon. Now what you wanna do is 
want to get your brush out and you want to slightly tint it like put it to a tight to a lighter li tint what i suggest is 30 f is 25 35 or 45 of the color tint because those are like perfect shading tips tints depending on um what kind of shading you're doing Sick. Just gotta and there. Oh, wait, no. I wasn't kidding when I said this might be a bit difficult for some people. There, bruh. There we go. I know it's not exactly as perfect as you expected it to be. I'm pretty sure none of you expected it to be perfect because none of us is perfect, but you know what I mean. Now, you want to tint it back to the previous tint um, you had if you changed the tint. I'm trying to get it back to 25. All right. And put it back on to like the majority, the maximum of <laughs> the um the brush. I think the brush capacity or the brush size. I don't entirely know, but I know you need to change it to the maximum of the brush. Is what I'm all. Is what I, all I'm going to say. Now I will do. Shady tutorials for like different angles, and if you want like a more styled shade, I suggest going with a shade kind of like this or something. Well, like that, okay, this is much better. Because now you can actually see what I'm talking about. And if you want a better shade, go for, not for 45, but at least go for 40. If you look at one of my other previous posts, I'll like, I think it was related to something about a skit or something. But, um, yeah, if you look on one of my previous, um, posts, you'll see that the shade I was doing had, um, a sort of a t metal kind of tint. And, yeah. So, here's sort of what you want to go for. But before you take off the, like, the... The um selection part, you're going to want to blur it in again. And there you go. So that's kind of what you want to do to the tint. I have to say it looks actually pretty, pretty good. Now time to... Now before I um, show you like exactly how to um, do different types of shading, here's how you... First I'm going to delete this layer. Or no. Yeah, I'm gonna delete this. And now, how do you sh how do you save it? You might ask. Keep it on the selection layer, and then go to the save. Um, but yeah, I might edit this video soon. But um, 
Now, I'm going to show you different types of shading. Please ignore my plastic in the background. <laughs> Now, no. anyway, you're going to want to do the exact same that you did with the Um, with the, um, the ruler and, um, the, what in the heck? Okay, you're going to want to do the exact same with the ruler and the, um, you know, like the selection thingy. Don't, like, make it too long, but don't make it too short. One of my rules. Like, it's not an actual rule. It's just one of my rules, if you know what I mean. Now. Ignore the hair pieces, because I already showed you how to do that. And ignore this little corner right here because I didn't exactly do that. Now, what you. Now, what I showed you on the previous one is that you're going to want to do it like. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm doing it the wrong way. You're going to want to do like first start at. 25. Smooth, well, smooth, practical, um, shading, am I right? Now, let's try with 35. Oh, I, that's where I messed up. So, here's the thing where most people may or may not mess up on. If you don't mess up on this part, like, if you don't mess up on this part like I do, um, then you are a pro at this, at um, using Eevee's paint. But if you do, allow me to school you. So, if you stop, like, well... I'm not going to give an example right now because I'm still showing you on different types of shade that I recommend you using. Now, after the 45, I'm going to school you a bit. This is the 45 tint. The, other t the first one I showed you was the 25 tint. The second one I showed you was the 35 tint. And, the, and this one is the 45 tint. Now, here's something that most people mess up on. If you are using a tint and it's not, like, fully tinted, you know how this is fully black? This is fully black. The tint I am using, this is not fully black. Now, here's something that most people may mess up on. If you <clears throat> stop using the tint, say you, like, stop right here, and you want to continue it, don't start from where you were, because that's just going to mess up the entire tent. Instead, um, click undo twice, and then redo the, um, the, um, whole kind of, like, shading. And make sure you do all of it this time. I did not do all of it. But anyway...
my point is do not start from where you left off if you're trying to like shade or tint something because that is just going to mess up the shading slash tint now if you want to let's combine two of the shading slash tints Let's combine 